Welcome back and tonight I'm going to go ahead and make elk chorizo and eggs for dinner. So I have a package of elk meat that we actually made the chorizo ourselves. Looks like this. Now, um, that amount. Um, you can go ahead and buy beef chorizo or pork chorizo at the grocery store and do this exact same thing. So, but the elk chorizo is quite good. And I'm going to use nine eggs, which I went ahead and broke into the bowl already. And then I'm going to add a little bit of milk to make the eggs fluffy when they cook. Now you can do this exact same recipe with beef chorizo or pork chorizo. I'm just going to go ahead and scramble these eggs. This is one of my favorite meals. I, I usually never have it for breakfast, although it's a breakfast meal. I, use, I usually have it for dinner. I've already heated up some tortillas. So that's all ready to go. And then I'm going to take these eggs and the chorizo over to the stove and we'll start cooking. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the pan and I'm going to add some oil. Now if you get chorizo from the grocery store, pork or beef, more than likely it has enough fat you don't even need to add oil. You can just start cooking it. But this is elk chorizo so it's very, very lean. I'm going to put down a decent amount of oil. and evenly distribute it. And as soon as that heats up, I can add the meat. Okay, so I got my uh, hand a little wet and I, I'm flinging some water into the pan and it's sizzling so the oil is ready. And I'm going to go ahead and drop the meat in. Okay, a couple important things on doing chorizo and eggs is for one, you want to really break the meat up with the spatula, and also you want to make sure that if you're cooking pork or beef or elk, you want to definitely make sure it's cooked all the way through, and it's a little bit difficult to tell because the coloring of all the spices, so because it already kind of looks red if the spice is there. So you almost have to go by texture. So it's nice if you have a cast iron skillet, if you get a really sharp spatula, it makes it easier to break the meat up. Mm, that smells delicious. It's not even close to being done and it already smells great. So I will just keep on Cooking it and stirring it, and we'll check on it in just a few. So, my son and I made this elk chorizo ourselves. My son got an elk this year, so that was nice. And one of our favorite things to do with the elk meat is make chorizo out of it, and then we put it in the freezer and freeze it and enjoy it for the year, but it never lasts as long as a year because we always want to go ahead and eat the chorizo and eggs a lot. But we did make a good amount. So maybe one of these days we will film doing that, but I we did not have time to film at this time. Like I said, it really smells good. Now we make it pretty spicy. Now at the store you might be able to get some that's not as spicy. Okay, so it's starting to brown pretty well. 
And I believe that it is done, which is good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add the eggs to it. Actually, I think I might add just a tad of oil first before I add my eggs. It's looking like it's actually turned off the heat for a second. It's kind of starting to stick, so I'm going to add a little bit of oil because, like I said, elk meat is extremely lean. I'm going to add my eggs. Turn that heat back up. And so we have to mix the meat up with the egg thoroughly. I said I got my heat back on. I turned it off for a sec because things were starting to stick. And then at this point it's almost like you're making scrambled eggs with meat. But luscious meat. Because this is delicious meat, lots of wonderful spices. So spatula helps you be able to also just scrape it. And a lot of people eat this for breakfast. I prefer it for dinner. To me, this is so hearty. I don't like huge breakfast. I like breakfast for dinner. Mm, so I want to put a little bit of brown on the egg. Now, some people, they like their eggs just like this, and they might call it done. But I like my egg a bit brown. I'm going to cook it a little bit longer. So it's just kind of a preference. You must cook the meat thoroughly. You want to cook the eggs all the way through. But some people would be satisfied with it like this. But like I said, I do like it brown. See how it has like a little bit of brown right there? That's what I like. Hope everybody's having a great day today. I've had a very hectic day. I wasn't sure if I was going to film or not. And then I got to a point and I'm like, you know what? I think I can just, I have time to film this. So. I've been meaning to film the chorizo and eggs at the channel for a little while and I keep on saying I'm going to do it and then something comes up and I don't do it. So I'm glad I had time tonight to do this because it is one of my favorite dishes. And to me it's quite easy. There's not, because the chorizo has all the spices, you don't need to add the spices. So for me it's a nice quick meal. Okay, we're getting really, really close to being done. I'm almost ready to pull this. I'm going to pull it soon because with a cast iron skillet, it might continue to cook a little bit still. So I am going to go ahead and take this off the stove top right now. And little test taste. Okay, so this is how I personally like to do the chorizo and eggs. I'm going to put some sour cream down on my tortilla. I like a lot of sour cream. Okay. And then I'm going to put some chorizo down. And then I'm going to put some cheese down. Now a lot of people will make a burrito out of this. Personally, I kind of like to just almost make it like a taco. But you can make it however you want it. Some people might eat it with the tortilla on the side. Depends how you want it. 
do it. And I'm going to taste test it and see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm, tastes very good. Very delicious. I like the combination of the sour cream and the cheese with the chorizo and eggs. Tastes delicious. I hope you enjoyed this video. A nice quick dinner idea. Um, for those of you who have subscribed to me, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. And um, for those of you who haven't subscribed, if you like the content, it is free to subscribe. And like this video. And thank you for watching. Have a great evening.